Well, we all know words that are better left unsaid. 7 Action News reporter Andy Choi shows us in the Arab community, there's a movement to strike one word from everyday conversation. Heck, I know you so full. Holding on to his Arabic roots, Hassan Hashem does his best to keep the language alive. <laughs> there is one word Hassan's mother forbids in the house, but the 10 year old says he hears that word all too often around the neighborhood. Some Arabic people around me say uh, the A word, the A word, I, I can't say it. It's like a very bad word. I don't like say it or nobody in my house. The word in question is Abed, A-B-E-D, which literally translates to slave or Abid, A-B-E-E-D, which is the plural form. It's got a lot of people in the Arab world saying this is a word they do not need to use anymore. Black Americans who are Muslims who understand uh, Arabic, when we hear the A word or Abid, to us is equivalent to the N word. The hashtag is drop the A word. And like the N word, there's a movement making waves on social media, asking people to stop using the pejorative term. We hear this term going to gas stations, to grocery stores, and uh, it's extremely offensive and it's hurtful. Uh, you're being racist. You're talking about a human being. Out of the mouths of babes, a whisper of wisdom, and a shout to every grown-up conversation that words do matter. In Dearborn, Andy Choi, 7 Action News.